Hello folks and welcome. So Azure and OS 16.2, 16.2. This is generally toward new users, uh, generated toward new users. But certainly anyone is welcome to watch if you're wanting to know a little bit about your panel bar or task bar. I'm gonna be talking about resizing it, making it invisible, or semi see-through I should say, or see-through, uh, and then resizing icons, um, eliminating some icons, putting the panel on the top and the left and right side and talk about also some keyboard uh, shortcuts that you need to be aware of. So welcome folks. 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in today. My video will be more than two minutes. All my videos have timelines and chapters. I'll also touch a little bit about themes a little bit later. This is what I'm currently using. Alt and F4 to close and let's talk about this bar down here. So this one is semi see-through. Right click, taskbar settings. I'm gonna talk about a lot of different settings today. So the first is the actual panel size, the size of this bar. Here's a 32, kind of dinky, going from top to bottom, and then 128, kind of large. Don't have much room for anything else now. I kind of filled it up. So I'm gonna go kind of in between. 64 is kind of good. I also have something else turned on. I have large text turned on. Just wanted to let you know that. So panel and telehide, what does that actually mean? All right, so there is a gear symbol here too, and I want you to be aware of also some keyboard stuff that uh, could also derail you if you're trying to use this. In other words, it will make it not work right for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is demo that with no uh, changes being made other than to slide that on. So basically that's currently on. I'm gonna open up a web browser. I'll use the uh, windowed environment and I'll get anywhere near that bar and it disappears. As I make this um, big screen and move my mouse pointer or cursor downstairs, the bar reappears and then goes away. And then if I make this smaller again and pull this up in the air, it reappears. That's in telehide is what I call that. They call that panel and telehide. Auto hide and telehide. Gear symbol time. If you're the type of person who likes to make screenshots, you can use a keyboard equivalent and also the fact that there is a screenshot tool that has three options. Grab the screen, window, or area. My favorite is usually the middle one. If you get into uh, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, just reset the defaults. But I wanted you to be aware of this one right here. Because a lot of people make this mistake and then they wonder why it doesn't Intel hide. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you aware of this key. So it's currently set for super I, what's a super key? Well, some folks have this key on their keyboard and some folks do not. So I'm gonna try to explain this to you, I'm gonna try. So mine is actually says start on it. And that's a key found in between my control and alt key. Some folks have two of these on their keyboards. And some folks have none. So I'm going to depress the super and the I key in a second. But first of all, let me demo this one more time. As soon as I come near that bar, it auto hides. Now I'm gonna take and press the super and the I key and you see nothing happening. Watch what happens when I do that now. Whoops, it goes behind it. Let me maximize this. It's not doing the IntelliHide anymore. Okay, it's not doing that anymore. It's still here. Super I. Just be aware of that, folks. Now I'm gonna close that. There's no action whatsoever that tells you that's active. Okay, just be aware of that. Depress the super and the I down or whatever else you wanna change it to. But more importantly, be aware of that. All right, so that's the panel size and that's panel IntelliHide. Again, you have also the override right here. So the uh, override panel theme background opacity, a mouthful. What exactly does that mean? Panel background opacity percent, 100. What happens when I turn that on? It turns black. 
What happens when I put this at zero? It becomes see-through. Now you see it, now you don't. So these icons no, now sort of look like they're floating. Let me give you a different background to give you an idea what that looks like. It's kind of, look, you can see the stuff right through it. <clears throat> so whenever you're using this particular setting at zero, the, with that on, you also maybe want to be aware of your wallpaper or backgrounds. If you decide to change one to something with a lighter white on it or yellow even, you may have this blend right into your text. Another example, maybe this one. This is really hard to see now. Not so much here, but definitely here. So just be aware if you decide to use that. Now I could fix this one by just doing this. I'll go with, uh, let's say 50% and hit enter. Now that would be okay. And it will work fine with this wallpaper. This is still semi see-through, but I can at least see all this stuff. Just wanted to make you aware that you may want to investigate settings like that. So again, your choice. Zero is see-through, 100% is black. One example, there you have it. And zero is see-through. So this is about 75% right now. So if I were to turn this also to 75%, and then toggle that back and forth, you'll probably see this won't change much because that's what it's currently set for. Let's move to position. All right, so if you use multi monitors, you may want to take a look at that setting. And then also the panel bar itself, or the panel or the task bar, has the largest amount of room when it's on the top or bottom because the my screen is positioned longer this way than it is this way. See the left and the right size, I don't have much room anymore. Okay, top is the same. I have about roughly the same amount of distance between here and here, what I call real estate between here and here. All right, with that said, you can move these around. All right, so left box and all this stuff, what does that mean? Well, first of all, that's the left box. It's a Zorin icon, in other words. You probably want that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to click on it. I'm going to turn that one off also. I believe this is not visible normally. And also, I believe your date thing may actually look, let me do re, uh, defaults. So it may look something like that or possibly like that. <clears throat> All right, so let's walk through these things. Left box is the Zorn icon, right? Then you have show application button. You probably want that or maybe not. And it has a gearbox. So the benefit of having this, you have the regular Zorn menu and you also have this menu. And also have a search feature at the top here. Like if you're looking for tweaks, for instance, or even appearance. I'll touch upon appearance a little bit later, just briefly. Anyways, you can click these three guys down here. I'm just gonna use my USB based computer mouse scroll wheel to scroll up and down. I'm going to hit escape, right click, taskbar settings, and then I'm going to actually turn that back off. Activities button, it's this little guy right here. Taskbar, be careful with that one, that eliminates these icons. So if that's what you have, you may want to investigate to make sure this option is on. I don't think I have anything on the center box, so I'll toggle that, but the right box will turn these off. And the system menu are these four guys right here. And then the date menu, you probably want that one. I got no date now. And desktop button. Okay, so um, all up to you. Keep in mind, date, weekday, uh, seconds not so much, but in case you do want that, there you go, everybody's different. Okay, so that's position, bottom, top, left, right, and of course you can toggle these on and off. Don't forget, you can also have them stacked differently. 
Under behavior, got the same thing, got a bunch of sliders and gearboxes. Screenshots or reset to defaults and action. So lots of things to think about, but I wanted to specifically make mention of this one. If you toggle that, just be aware that it overrides this IntelliHide. Okay. A lot of people get frustrated and go, hey, it doesn't work. Well, try toggling that key right here if you have one of those. If you don't have one of those, don't worry about it. You know, a lot of things look different also based on your panel. You know, maybe you want to turn this one on. You know, so you got this option. Maybe you want to make this um, wallpaper a little bit. Uh, well, I'll just change the background to something like that. It's got nice purple colors. How about if I add some themes with it? I've shown this, I believe, on my previous video that's already on my YouTube site. I'll give you the candy icon effect. And that's Firefox, believe it or not. It's candy icons. I'll resize those on the fly. Close that. Give you the example of the Zorn menu. And I will change the icon set also to... I do also have uh, the rainbow ones. More of the file manager thing. I'll resize those on the fly. Just to give you the examples of that one. I'm going to use Alt and F4. And um, I'll reset this back to standard themes. Or maybe I shouldn't. How about the panel itself? How about if we make this floating looking thing? Let's go to zero on that. You know, there's so many things you can do with your Zorin desktop to make things look a lot different. You know, now they kind of look like they're sort of floating. In either case, folks, I think I'm going to stop at this point and I will turn back these icons. I do have some additional uh, videos on my YouTube site if you're interested for lots of different things. Now I'm back to normal and I'll say thank you for watching.